Welcome to Electron Line. When we start out with a homogeneous second order linear differential equation, it is easy to solve when we use what we call the characteristic equation and solve that instead. So this looks a lot like x squared minus 3x plus 2. Well, that's the characteristic equation, except instead of using x, we tend to use r when we deal with differential equations. So we're going to write this as r squared minus 3 times r plus 2 equals 0. So the second differential, that becomes r squared, the first differential becomes r, and the function itself, we simply have r to the 0, which of course is 1, and you don't have an r there at all. Now what we do here is we're going to solve this, what we call characteristic equation. We're going to solve for the roots, just like we solve hmm, a second order equation or a quadratic equation as we call them. Here you can see that we can easily factor this. This can be written as r, hmm, let's see here, how about minus 2 times r minus 1 is equal to 0. When we multiply this out, we get back the original equation. This means that either r is equal to 2 or r is equal to 1, because when we multiply, we get 0. So this is the solution, or the two solutions, to the characteristic equation. Now, to turn that into the solution set for this differential equation, we know that the general solution is y is equal to c1e to the r1 t, if this is the function of t, and let's assume that it is, plus c2 e to the r2 t, where r1 and r2 are the two roots of the characteristic equation. So let's call this r1 and let's call this r2 the two roots of the characteristic equation. Then we can say that the general solution to this differential equation can now be written as y is equal to c1 e to the 2t plus c2 e to the 1t, or simply t. And there's the general solution to the differential equation, done so using the characteristic equation. So it makes it quite easy. Of course, the only thing left would be to find out what c1 and c2 are, but for that we have to have the initial conditions which were not given in this case. So that simply remains as the general solution to the differential equation. And that's how it's done.